What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. We're currently on the road to 1,000 subs. Uh, so if you could, please hit that subscribe button. Now, let's get back to the video. I was listening to a podcast uh, yesterday, and this is going to be kind of, you know, towards the end now with, with the questions. But so I was listening to a podcast yesterday, and us talking about having that three year, four year period in college kind of reminded me about that. So what is like, so what people don't understand, because you get bashed all the time, especially being offensive lineman, you get bashed all the time. Oh, why he's, why is he giving up so many sacks? Why is this happening? Why is that happening? Uh, especially for rookies or first year, second year guys too sometimes. Yeah. And, you know, I tell people all the time, like high school, you have a four-year window to develop. Mm -hmm. You know, you have your freshman year, sophomore year, junior year, senior year. Um, college, depending on if you're a top guy and you leave early, which is three, but you usually have a four-year window again. Yeah, three three to five, really. Three to five. Right, three to five, five years to, to develop. Yep. So mm -hmm. when you get the NFL, you have really Training a camp. year, two years, <laughs> Right, right. You know what I mean? If you're a first rounder, if you're a first rounder, they'll give you a little leeway. Yeah. They'll give you that that year, two years to kind of develop. But like as a as a as a player coming from college to the NFL, I think college I think NFL coaches and and, and I know it's a business, but I don't think they understand that part of it. Like you're yeah. you're you're taking the kid that's used to developing at least three to five years to now he has to develop in a year, two years. If not, he's going, he's going home. So mm -hmm. that's where the mental aspect uh, of, of things like mental health and why guys are like, man, you know, people don't understand football players are, they, they, man, it, they have to deal with a lot. Yeah. You have to deal with a lot. You have to worry about having a job, not having a job, taking care of your family, not taking care of your family. So, you know, so what? what's your take on just, you know, allowing players to kind of develop a little more? Um, I mean, that that right there, that's what all of these, all of these new programs, like all of these training facilities right now, like, you know, when I was coming out, I mean, people was training, like, you know, with specialists and everything, but you starting to see that more and more right now, especially for the old line position. So mm -hmm. knowing this information that I know now, you, like, how, how can I put this, man? How can I put this? You can't depend on the, tr on the team to develop you because mm -hmm. for the most part, them coaches – they're only there because they're friends with the head coach. Like a large percentage of coaches in the NFL, they're trained in a position that they've never played before in their life. Like that life is being real. So it's like, you can't expect them to develop you the way that you're supposed to be developed. And if you don't have no, no real vet presence on that team at, at your position, then you're not going to get any better that first year. You're just not. So you're going to have to develop on your own at all of these, like, training facilities and everything. So it's, I mean, it's, it's messed up, but that, that's just the way the NFL is. It's wrong. That's the reality, yep. But, but that, that's the reality of it. You got to you gotta know, like, your offseason isn't an offseason. Your offseason is the time to really work on your craft and bring your game to that next level because – you're not going to do it there at the facility with a, a old line coach who's really just been coaching wide receivers or running backs his whole life. Like you just, you yeah. feel me? It's just not going to work. Yep. And that's true. That's true. Cause when they, when you come into training camp, mini camp and all that stuff, they expect you already to be ready. Yeah. Like they expect you already to, to, to be ready to go full throttle. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like it's not, that's true. Like it's not a development period. Um, one thing I can say, though, one thing I can say, and I have to tip my hat off to them, when I was with the Patriots, and if you was a rookie or a first-year guy, 
they had so you will have a practice and then you will have a development practice after yeah. you that's know what major. i mean that's major. So, yeah so so that's one thing that i can say that the difference between a winning program and a program that's not winning yeah. you know what i mean or organization because yeah. like like i said like you, it literally you'll finish up your practice if you're a rookie or first year uh, first year guy you have to stay after you have a development practice where you're going over the plays going over technique you're going over all these different things and you know that's why you know at that at that time prior to this year because i don't know what the Patriots are doing this year but prior <laughs> to this year you know that's why they was winning super bowl that's why they was doing the things that they was doing you know because they were developing guys yeah i mean that and like you said that that's major right there but every team every team i mean is right. not like that nope, nope. <laughs> not, like that. not at all not at all <laughs> Not at all. Uh, they, you come in, they want you to do this. If you can't do that, they're not worried about trying to develop you or anything for the most part, for most teams. Right. That's you true. do have some good coaches. Don't get me wrong. You do have some oh, yeah. great coaches. Like my first year in, in New Orleans, Mike Solari, he's okay. probably the best O-line coach that I've uh, been around and everything. Right. Like He's one of the reasons why I took my game to the next level because he was the one that – he was forcing me – he developed that that work mentality. Get out here early, leave late. Like he developed that mentality right there when I got to San Francisco. Right. Like you know, I thought I was working hard until <laughs> that first year with Mike Solari. I'm like, okay, this is how it's supposed to be done. Right. But every O line co coach ain't a Mike Solari, so oh, not at all, especially yeah, in the NFL. Exactly. So if if you don't have that, and if you don't have that veteran leadership. You got to find that somewhere in the off season. Like you got to find somewhere to get better at. 100%. You can't just depend on training camp and practices and everything. Because as you've seen the first year, I didn't get no better this year. Right. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah.